speed. Uh, here comes Courtney Force and Mike Neff. John Force racing on the line. And don't forget, we do this all again in just one week. It's the Arizona Nationals, part of the NHRA Full Throttle Drag Racing Series from Phoenix, Arizona. Qualifying 8 o'clock on Saturday. The finals are Sunday night at 9 o'clock. So, Larry, what's your favorite uh, Phoenix moment? Oh, gosh. Uh, be hard to pick. How my, about the win? Got my, your first win there in 95, didn't you? And, and my most recent win. There you it go. came there. Yeah, it'd be hard to choose. Both of them were uh, fun. Uh, you know, racing Shelly Anderson in the final for my first win and, and, and beating her. It was uh, I, I still uh, she still gives me a, a little bit of a ribbon over that. And that's OK. Speaking of moments, how about that? You and your dad. For, that was my first time in the winter circle here at Pomona. I was three years old hanging out with my dad. Warm out that day. That was uh, that was awesome. I, I get to see that picture a lot, and it's. Uh, I'm still at the track. We're still at Pomona. It's uh, it's great. I mean, years later, and uh, gosh, uh, couldn't think of any better way of being out here than uh, being at the drags. Well, our Aaron's lucky dog of the race. We've already figured it out. It's Gary Denton. Yes, that was pretty much a no-brainer. Uh, Jack Beckman had him beat, and uh, then crossed over the uh, center line for automatic disqualification, and Gary avoided just. Uh, getting into the many harder than he did and causing some substantial da damage. You take a look at the another look at the run or easy for me to say. Yeah, well, well hopefully there was a, quite a bit of fender damage on his car. Hopefully he's got a spare body or can be able to fix that one for the next round. Yeah, and Gary, I mean, if, if he's got a lot of friends out here, if there's a body that can even come close to fitting on that car, somebody would loan it to him. Where's MacGyver? <laughs> Back at the starting line now. Courtney and Mike Neff. Remember here when uh, the Blue Max blew the, the top off and Kenny Bernstein cut the That's top it. of his off and then duct taped and blasted on? The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah, yeah, that was great. Great history here in Pomona. So what are the differences between Courtney and Ashley? John Force has an opinion. Two different personalities. Ashley's like her mama. She drives like me, but she's like her mama. Calm and cool. Courtney's a little, a lot more. Ashley was an introvert. Courtney's an extrovert. You can see the difference. I can't believe he knows the difference between introvert, introvert. and extrovert. Where did he get those? I don't even know what it means. <laughs> it, it, in, intake and exhaust. Balance, there right? you go, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so Mike Knapp was number one in the points going into the playoffs last season, but had just two round wins in the last five events, and that did not help. Courtney. Biggest day of her life. Wow. Well, Mike Neff got her, but she gave him a run of 407, 315 miles an hour. She got a little left. Pretty close to that wall, Mike Neff gets the win light. Yeah, Neff had almost 200 of a second advantage on her, but she makes her best run of the weekend, a 414. Good news is she went down the racetrack every time she stepped on the gas, and that's going to give her a lot of confidence, will not it, Larry? Yeah, absolutely, especially when you can see, uh, you know, what happened with Jack Beckman earlier. I mean, anything can happen. You just want to make runs, get some experience, seat time, get, get, in, get that feel. Uh, in your rear end as you're going down the track to, to work on it. And the more full pulls that she gets, the, the better prepared, prepared she'll be, you know, for when things don't go the way you want them to. And so that will mean that Ron Caps and Mike Neff will face off in the semifinals. 